Oh, these glasses are so big. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's yours truly, Jen. Hope you're all doing well. I'm in Butuol right now, but we are heading to Bardia. Time for another road trip. Yay! I'll try to show you things along the highway if we see anything interesting, the stops for lunch or whatever, pee breaks. Yeah, you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Bardia calling. It's been about 30 minutes since we left Butuol. We are in Basgari. We have stopped here to get some gas or some diesel for the car. Looks like we're done. Be prepared to see anything while you're driving on the highway. So this is what I'm talking about guys. In Nepal, we have a one lane highway in most parts of Nepal. Driving in Nepal can get really frustrating sometimes because like I said, it's a one lane highway and there's always something coming from the other side. It really slows you down because uh, if I try to take over, there's a truck coming. If I try to take over, there's another bus coming. But we are in Chakrapur right now, somewhere in the middle of the ride. This guy is trying to overtake. It's all flat land here. Flatlands, and now all of a sudden, the hills have emerged. Bahravan jai, Kamilavan jai, Adivan jai, Rupan jai, Dhanavan jai, Ani Divla hai tu, do bara, do bato van jai. Ab sabhi jai, ab kisi ko the mahi pa kisi jai. Ma chalo, sikhe ro. Jorge and I are switching seats. He's going to start driving. Looks like there's a dust storm here, guys. I don't know if you can see well on camera, but it's very windy. Okay, the visibility is getting poorer. This is Balubang guys. We are looking for a place called Pawa. It's been two and a half hours since we drove from Butuol. We have Pawa, Baneuta, restaurant, sorry. So we are going to stop here for lunch. We are looking for a place called Pawa, Wa Wa Wa. Pawa, Wa Wa Wa. <laughs> Tada! We are in Pawa, Hotel Pawa in Balubang. Namaste. Hello. Lunch in Sydney, right? Yummy. So I was just telling Dorje that in the Tarai, the highways might look really, really straight, but there are a lot of small settlements here. And uh, to the locals here, the highway is also their local roads. So you can't really speed that much, guys. I mean, you can, but every once in a while, I've noticed that, you know, you'll see like, look, there's goats. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that, but you know, the goats are crossing the road. Uh, there's uh, chickens crossing the road, cats, uh, you know, so there's always something crossing the road ahead because it's also local people using their highway. So we got to watch out for that. Your driving is not good. Looks like there's checking ahead. Oh, never mind. It's just the heavy trucks they're checking. Yeah, I don't really have a, a highway experience, you know, so you need to follow the rhythm of the wheel, the flow, traffic of the flow, then you become a better driver. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. You have to catch the rhythm of the, the wheel of the flow. You have to catch the rhythm of the wheel of the flow? Yes. What you have it? to go with the flow, a traffic flow, and you have to know, you have to understand the road basically. Yep. I agree. But it's going to take time, experience, before I can drive in an international American highway. <laughs> <laughs>
checking going on. Thank you, Thank sir. You. wrong highway we just took a wrong turn guys we need to turn around and make a u-turn and Dorje is done with driving his back hurts right look at this road guys how i wish we had this in okra it's a beautiful drive the sun is about to set it's about 5 18 and we have one more hour to go all right guys we have just entered Verdia national park we just passed the first security checkpoint by nepal army the army were very strict and they made sure that we don't take videos of the security checkpoints and that we don't exceed the speed limit of 40 kilometers per hour so we are going much slower as you can probably tell there's a bunch of rules that we need to follow you know people are used to littering uh, throwing things out their windows please don't do that guys we don't do that anyways but uh, that's one of the rules you cannot litter here so respect the animals of course so yeah some basic common sense rules I guess so at the first security checkpoint they gave us a time card basically noting down the time we entered the security checkpoint the next security checkpoint is after 12 kilometers they don't want you to you know get there before 22 minutes they will note down what time we get there and that's how they know how fast or slow we've been driving if you get there sooner than that you might get fined so watch out for that speed limit guys 40 kilometers an hour now we are through the forest area we are heading to our hotel which is about 35 minutes away so almost there guys hang in there we made it to our destination you guys i'm in bardia national park i'm in babai resort i had a great time driving here it's my first time in bardia and i'm super excited to be here for the next couple of days thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed today's vlog i'm really hoping to go on a safari ride tomorrow or the day after at least and if i do i'll definitely let you know so i'll see you in the next vlog until then take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye